hello and welcome back my beautiful froggy army to another video we are back at it again on my tropical florida island and today we are going to be making a super cute little shopping center shopping area whatever you want to call it i've been villager hunting for lily for literally way too long now like half a year so i need a break once again to do some builds and today i'm very excited because we're finally going to figure out what the heck we're doing with nooks and ables i haven't been knowing what i'm going to do with them whatsoever for the entirety of the time that i've been building this island so as you can see on the mini map there we are in the panhandle of the florida shaped cliff that i built on this island and i did spend a little bit of time on a recent stream moving these and getting everything set up so i'm planning to do one long shopping plaza shopping strip whatever you want to call it so we've got this path that goes down here and leads to nooks as well right in between these two we're going to be doing a bunch of little mini shops my plan is to do a Cuban sandwich shop, a clothes shop, and like a touristy gift shop. So that's what I'm gonna try to cram in here. I actually did see this picture on Pinterest and this really inspired me for kind of like the layout of the shops and the buildings. So we're gonna try to take some inspiration from that and see if I can even remotely make it look as cute even one percent cute that'd be great but we're gonna go ahead and get started. I need to firstly fix up this path because girl what's going on with this path. I'm just gonna go ahead and even all of this out because if I don't, then this entire walkway right here is just gonna look like this with one little puny space of this terracotta tile peeking out and I don't like that. So let's go ahead and fix it. I'm also gonna extend it over here by the Able Sisters because I did not take it far enough. But I guess this is as far as I'll take the path for now. Let's go ahead and add all of the little sidewalk panels. This is just like the little pool code, one of these tiles that comes with it. I am trying to repurpose some of my design codes you know, if I can use them for alternative things, that'd be great because I am slowly but surely running out of spots. You know what? I just realized something. And this is how you know that I'm only using half a brain cell tonight. I was going to make a separate little clothes shop when Able Sisters is right here. You probably assumed that when I said I wanted to make a clothes shop, I meant Able Sisters. No, no, no. In my head, in my empty brain swirling around, was a separate clothing shop apart from the Able Sisters because I just very conveniently forgot that the Able Sisters existed. Honestly, I apologize for that. I apologize to Able Sisters. It did not deserve this. Anyways, our path is looking good. I actually extended it to lead towards the pool area. So now we have this nice little path that goes here with our little sidewalk and it takes us past nooks. We go up a little bit and it takes us past Abel's as well. Beautiful Abel's. I remembered you existed the whole time, definitely. Let's get into this. I have an inventory full of stuff and goodies to play with, so I'm very excited. So I want to take some inspiration from that Pinterest picture, but I don't want to fully copy it, of course. I'm thinking that we're going to do the little wide display stands in some areas, and then there's going to be some openings where we put our little mini shop. So I was also planning on using this wood code to go under underneath of like the shop areas and believe it or not I think in the Pinterest picture they have the exact same code or at least something very very similar which I just thought was really funny let me quickly put all this down and then we'll get into placing our items all right there we go I placed the planks all around here and I placed them all down here I didn't take them all the way back to the edge because I think that back corner is going to be covered anyway by all of these wide display stands so I picked the white variation because that's kind of the vibe I'm going for with this island and I figured if I picked like the light wood color then it would clash too much with this road so we're gonna go with white and i'll just push another one right up against it mm. you know now that i look back at the picture they do have different colors to represent different buildings which i may have to do okay let me go customize some of these and also go grab some stalls okay i'm back that took forever and i still don't even have enough stuff i'm gonna have to time travel and get a bunch of stuff anyways i at least got enough to do this one singular section so we're just gonna have everything right about here just like that and i still have these door designs left over from my Kidcore Island, which is this same exact island, but hey, we'll use them again. Why not? And another design that I'll use again is the laundry design. I thought this would be really cute. I kind of want to pull 
everything over just by one. So don't mind me. I'll just fix this up really quick. I think right back here is where I want to do our little touristy gift shop. I think I'm going to utilize this little square right here. And I thought it would be cute if we kind of put the festival stall on the edge here. And then we'll have another one on the other side to match it. And then we'll put like all of our random stuff there, you know? But let's continue with our little building. So I also got a dark brown one. And I still need simple panels for those, unfortunately. But I'm thinking maybe we do the restaurant over here. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to pick this up and maybe we can actually squeeze in just a little bit more, like one more fake building. I think it looks good. Can I say that? Can I say that I think it looks good? Because I think it does. I could continue the wide display stands all across nooks if I really wanted to. Honestly, I might put some more in the back here. That kind of sounds good. I think we got it maybe figured out potentially. I don't really know yet. I got this little custom design off of the custom design portal and um, that's, that's what we're going with. I think I'm going to do the doors like kind of off to the side. I'm not going to have it be the same as like the little laundry building. And I almost kind of want to put something else here instead of another sandwich shop design, but I'll put this here for now. This tree is bothering me. I'm going to move it. Yoink. I have an idea. What if we make the sandwich shop small? What if we make it tiny. It might be cute just to have it be like one building, something like this, like a little teeny tiny hole in the wall sandwich shop. And then instead we will put another gray display stand over here. Something like that. Ooh, ah, what do we think? I just was going to make this a totally random nondescript building. So I didn't really get anything too interesting here. I like it. I think we can make it work. And uh, that way, if I put other decorations for the sandwich shop and it's like kind of sort of in front of the other building, it doesn't really matter because who cares about this other building, right? For example, if I wanted to put this little bistro table and then we got like this little counter table. Okay, hear me out when we push this right up against nooks. You know what? Let me pick up this bistro table for now because I am thinking, like I said, this is going to be a Cuban sandwich restaurant. So I tried to get the vaguely Cuban sandwich looking little food items and and we've got our little menu chalkboard. Ooh, it even has a little sandwich set on it. Isn't that so cute? And let's put back that bistro table. We'll put it right behind the chairs. I don't know how well I'm vibing with this. Maybe we just need to do some final touches, finishing touches. I grabbed the other festival stall and we'll see where we can fit this. So I can either have them be like this or if I want this to be flush with, you know, the side of the building over here, I have to push it down, which means I have to push this one down as well. And I just don't know how I feel about that. I guess we'll leave it for now, just for the sake of, you know, me not going insane. Something else I think I want to add here is a little busing station. I think it will be really cute. We'll just kind of scooch it over there. I don't know if I want to do another festival stall because I feel like that's just a lot. Let me see if anything else looks cute to me. Like this cute little shelf thing. I'm going to keep that for now. And I've got these little cardboard boxes that are going to go over there and we can fit one singular thing right here. I am a big fan of this little hanger rack. I think that's really cute. Um, you know, a little, a little touristy gift shop is going to have the touristy gift shop clothes. We got a little lucky cat that's going to go in there, a bottled chip. Cause I feel like, you know, that's, that's kind of touristy, kind of Florida vibes. I have this little seashell purse, which I thought was really fitting and really cute. So that'll kind of just be in the corner with the other clothes. Then I've got this little dollar horse, which I thought would be cute. You know, gift shops usually have like a bunch of random figures and stuff like that, including, of course, a little hula doll. It's a must. It's a must for this island. Then I've got these little model kits and these aren't particularly like touristy, but I just wanted it to fill up the space there kind of because it's kind of empty in the back. And you know what? I'm going to put another hula doll. Okay, there's our little touristy gift shop kind of coming together. I think let's add some little details that will help this stand out. For example, I have some little shopping baskets here and these are also red because I'm trying to do like pops of red all throughout this little shopping plaza. I thought that'd be cute. I've also got this cute little sign, which I thought would be adorable, frankly. I'm considering squeezing in this magazine rack. I think that'll be cute. And then we still have some space to walk around in here. All right. Yeah, I think that's 
done for now. I am missing a little bit of foliage around here, so I was thinking we could at least put these little evergreen ashes, you know, since this game will probably scream at me if I attempt to put a tree anywhere around here. I feel like I need a custom design right here, but what the heck do I put? You know what? When in doubt, just put a lizard. Next, I was thinking a little drink machine over here, and we can continue with our little pops of red. Stick that little bad boy there. And now I guess let's work on the Able Sisters. She deserves it. I have been severely neglecting her and just being so terrible to her. So I, I need to make up for this desperately. So I obviously wanted to stop the little buildings right here and we have this little section to work on, but do I wanna put them behind? I don't really know. Maybe we just do some simple fencing instead. I put some custom designs down and maybe we just put a few of these in between the trees and that'll be it. So I'm thinking of this as also kind of a touristy kind of clothing shop. Think of this as a store in Florida that is selling like Hawaiian shirts and beach clothes, beach cover-ups, bathing suits, all that kind of stuff. They've got it here. So we're kind of going light and breezy for the kind of vibe. And they've got a bunch of stuff out on display also for you to peruse. Please don't take it. And I almost kind of want to go with a little changing room over here. I feel like that's kind of cute. And you see this gap right here? I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it one bit. What if we did another wine display stand? Okay, hear me out. And what if we just, what if we just sleep? it right in. You do see the glass, but honestly, I think it's kind of a look and I'll probably put something on top of this vending machine anyway and we'll barely even see it. Ooh, I have this little medium wood partition thing. What if we just put it right up against this? It's a little tall. Actually, you know what? It's kind of goofy. Is kind of goofy. <laughs> okay, since it's so tall, what if we put it back here instead? Uh, I think I like it better. It still is a little teensy bit goofy, but it's okay. <laughs> you know, I'm just feeling like rearranging everything right now. I am so sorry, but I feel like the the changing room would look really good over here, right up against this, and then we put the clothing rack that was right over there up against this wall. And then we can put the other clothing rack over here where it was. I think that's fine right there. Then I've got this little cardboard box. We're gonna put that right in front. We've got a little classic accessory stand that will go over there. Of course, they've gotta have those trendy touristy accessories also, you know? And we'll do a little stack of clothes. Actually, I think I'm gonna pick this up and we're gonna try this small clothing rack instead. And on top of this, I'm gonna put a little straw hat because I mean, you need a beach hat if you're gonna be around here, you know? Then we'll put the hanger rack over here very cute. I found this item in my inventory. I don't know if this will be too much, but this little glass showcase thing, I thought it was cute. I'm thinking it might be better over here in front of the window area. Yeah, I think that fits a little bit better. We'll figure out something else over here. I did have this little merchandise table and I thought maybe we could put some shoes in here. Let me grab some shoes. We're in Florida. We have to have flippy floppies. And I also have these cute little ribbon sandals, which I thought, you know, is a little more of an elevated version of the flip-flop. On top of this clothing rack, I'm gonna do another stack of clothes and a little orange hat as a little homage, you know, to Florida. So I've got this little sign. It's got some clothes on it. So I think that looks good right there. And then I wanna do some stacked shopping baskets over here too. Uh, the white is a little too much. It's a little too much white over here. So I think, do I have some green ones? Yes. Ooh, that looks perfect. All right. I think this is good for now. We still do have room over here on the left. I don't really know what I'm putting over there though. I feel like this little laundry shop is kind of missing something. So we're going to do a little capsule toy machine matching the blue for the laundry signs. So cute. The more I come back over here, the more something feels off. I think if I change the white display stand that's next to the brown one to a brown one, it'll look better. Let's just try it because something is off and something has bothered me, but I just cannot put my finger on it. Uh, I mean, it helped. It helped for sure. I feel like it also might be these custom designs. I, I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually, but I have some other stuff that I wanted to add that I'm gonna focus on first and I'm not gonna worry about the simple panels until later. We've got some curved street lights. I thought these would be real cute. I'll also put one over here on this corner and I'm gonna do some in front of nooks for now because I don't really know what I'm doing for nooks yet. Next, I thought a little bench would be cute down here and just have a little resting area. Oh, I kind of want to put a shopping bag on the ground next to it. There's our little shopping bag. So cute. Very sudden and dramatic transition 
to voice over Raven. Hey, what's up? I hope you don't mind me coming in here and kind of taking over this video, you know, like voice over Raven is a character that I love to play. And you know what? Sometimes she does take over a little bit. I, I get kind of like egotistical about playing her. So I hope you don't mind. Anyways, I am here fixing this section because what was the shopping plaza i truly do not know something was weird the vibes were off i didn't like it so i tried my best to fix it i don't know what it is you know now that i'm looking at it i think it's the gray and the brown right next to each other i don't really like that kind of like marbled stone gray but you know we work with it we work with it i wanted to try to add some color so i think it looks better i think it looks better i don't know anyways i had taken a big break from doing this build because it's actually a lot more than i thought it was gonna be like i was like oh yeah i'll just do like these three little areas and do the path and blah 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 but no this has taken me actually a long time it's a big section and i didn't really take that into account so it's fine after my break i just came back i fixed that area and now i'm just putting down a bunch of like extra little items here in there that i was like okay you know these would be good to spice up this little area you know and we're actually going to be working on nooks i decided to make it another publix i actually already have a publix on this island it's my house i did this to kind of represent some areas in florida by the way publix is a grocery store if you don't know what that is there are some sections where there are literally publixes like five seconds away from each other like two minutes away from each other and it's just so funny like publix is taking over everywhere so I just wanted to do that as kind of like a joke as like hey there's like a Publix on every street corner because sometimes it, it's just like that here. <laughs> I also had some kind of weird areas to work on namely this little section this is kind of like triangular shaped and the reason it's so weird is because of the Florida shaped cliff that I have on this island we're literally on it right now there's weird angles there's weird pockets there's weird sections so I kind of just have to deal with those and I was just like you know what I kind of want to add a few more like little food stations like they have some little stands they have like a little fortune cookie cart you know i'm about to put one of those down so this is just like a little area where people are grabbing a quick bite you know there's little stalls maybe little food trucks stuff like that we got the little fun tropical drink stall very fun and i wanted to put some more bistro tables because i just love this item so much and it just really makes it feel fun and there's plenty plenty of outdoor seating in florida that has like little umbrellas i mean i'm sure that's not local to only florida but uh we definitely have those so wanted to include them but yeah it was still a weird area you know i tried to at least define it a little bit with the planks and do like the little square but we still had the weird awkward tip of the triangle at the end so i tried my best i tried my best i put some random stuff here i don't really know what what the game plan was but i put stuff there and we decorated it and we did it and that's all that we can be proud of you know These bistro tables were also giving me a hard time, like I could barely walk around them, but we figured it out, we figured it out. So next awkward area, this is right behind like my little tropical overlook area path thingy that I most recently built. And as you can see, there's Abel's to the right. So we just have this long section here. This is technically the panhandle of the Florida cliff. What can you even put here, you know? So I thought, okay, we have the strip mall. We have like the little touristy area. A boardwalk would be really, fun and bring in some more of like that tropical vibes it's a fun little like touristy area to match the touristy shopping center that we just made so that's kind of the vibe i was going for i wasn't going to do anything too crazy um i really couldn't fit that many items here so i was like all right we got the vibe we got the concept now we just have to put a few things down and call it a day you know so to me what boardwalk means is like popcorn and like cotton candy stuff you know like more touristy kind of vibe more touristy kind of food so that's what we were going with um there's plenty of boardwalks that have like rides and stuff but we were not fitting all of that here no we were not so <laughs> i was just gonna put those things and i don't know i had these little flying carps i thought they would go good there i don't know the, the little banner um it had fish there's there's fishing in florida and it's a flag and i thought it would be fun so we put it there i considered putting down some of those uh little little string lights but i didn't like how they looked in front of this boardwalk area so we ended up not going with that and then once again there was another awkward area with this little strip right in front of it and i just put random 
I put random stuff here. Nature, flowers, tried to put a cactus, didn't really work, but yeah, we were just filling this up because you're not really gonna look over here, honestly, you're, you're not, it's fine. So <laughs> I was just trying to make it work. And then lastly, we just had kind of like this little path area Transitioning from Abel's to the boardwalk, um, I really thought I was going to do more stuff for Abel's. Poor Abel's got so, so unbelievably psychologically damaged in this video. I'm sorry, Abel sisters, but <laughs> I thought I was going to like put more items for Abel sisters, but it ended up just being the boardwalk and this little sand path pretty much and just adding like a few extra things to spice it up. You know, I figured we needed a little butterfly somewhere. I was missing a cute butterfly. So we put that there and I just tried to squeeze in a few extra things on this little tiny strip for Abel's, literally just a few, literally just a few. Anyways, as you're looking off the boardwalk, you do see this rock. So I was like, you know what? Let me put some cute little wildlife scene on this rock. My first instinct was just a bunch of alligators, but I was like, you know what? That's gonna be like too flat. They're just custom designs. Like I don't have an item for those. So I went with flamingos and you know, I'm gonna include a bunch of other things as well. Turtles, Kuropi snacks, stuff like that. At least as much as I can cram in on this rock. I thought it would be a cute little outlook, overlook, whatever. Just something nice to look at over the boardwalk and maybe make the boardwalk more interesting. <laughs> since we did not really fit that much, but basically, and I got to use more of my shell custom designs, which I feel like I have not been using nearly enough, but they got some use here. They got some use here. My cats are also playing with toys in the hallway, so I'm sorry if you hear them. They desperately want to be a part of this video. Anyways, quick walk through time. So obviously we still have some empty spots here. I'm going to save those for other builds that I think of, maybe some little micro builds in there. Here's our Publix. I love it. I need to replace one of those shopping carts. It's blue. I need to change it to green. <laughs> but just ignore that for now and as we walk we've got our little sandwich shop little cuban sandwiches i realized as i was editing this the sandwiches don't really look like cuban sandwiches but please just pretend with me here is our gift shop i love it it did not come out nearly as cluttered as i wanted it to be i think i want to add some scattered papers on the floor that'd be cute then we've got our little laundry area and then we have the little touristy clothes shop very light and breezy i did end up swapping that uh shopping basket color uh, but I might change it again. <laughs> and then there's like the little food area and good old Abel's finally got the treatment she deserved. We have this little transition path and we've got the boardwalk and our little flamingos over there. Flamingos and Kuropi snacks and turtles, so cute. And uh, just some random decorations over here. This was very random. I didn't know what I was doing over there. Did Abel's sisters get redemption? Was there justice? Let me know down in the comments below. And was it worth disrespecting them for this build? I think so but thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it i hope you enjoyed this i'm so excited to make so much more progress on this island like it's coming together subscribe to the channel for more animal crossing videos and general shenanigans and like this video if you liked it and if you're still listening to me blabber on um let's comment a really random word to confuse people um comment hippopotamus that'll really confuse people like work it into a sentence you know so people are like what are you talking about that'd be so funny anyways thank you so much again for watching and i will see you in the next one.